Hey guys, I'm Dr. T, and this episode we're talking about the penis. So this is our diagram here, banana. This is going to represent the head of the penis. Obviously shouldn't be able to remove it on a person. Okay. Um, so first things first, depending on your understanding of the penis, I'm going to quickly uh, fill you in on circumcision. So when uh, someone is born with a penis, almost all of the time they're going to have skin that covers the penis, and that's called the foreskin. Now there's a procedure called circumcision that actually removes some of that extra foreskin, um, and that's usually done in infancy. Really, the difference between the two is pretty negligible. It's more for cosmetic reasons, meaning the way it looks. Circumcised or not, it's possible to have little bumps around the shaft of the penis. This is pretty common. It's called fortis spots. Uh, these are just little glands, not a big deal. They may or may not go away with time, but there's nothing really to be done about them. Uh, but don't worry, they're normal. Next. Underneath the head, you might notice little, kind of what look like water bubbles or papules. Um, these are called pearly penile papules, PPP. Um, and these are totally normal as well. Circumcised or not, you might notice these. Lastly, so around the head of the penis, you might notice little pockets of white buildup or debris. Uh, these are called inclusion cysts, and they're just pockets of extra dead skin cells and things that build up around the penis and so nothing to worry about. Most of the time those will go away as you grow. So penis. That's basically it. So let's talk a little bit about foreskin. This is my fake foreskin, okay? So in an uncircumcised penis, at rest the penis will just have the tip, the pee hole, coming out of the tip. You don't have to retract the foreskin when you pee. The only thing you should really do is pull the foreskin back once a day when you're showering to clean it. But otherwise the foreskin should stay covered over the head. Um, again, when not erect. If though, if the foreskin gets stuck and you can't pull it back over the head, that is an emergency and you should go to the hospital. But let's talk about what if this hole is too small? What if you can't pull that foreskin down over the shaft of the penis? This is called phimosis. What you should do is every day slowly try to stretch that skin just a little bit until you're able to pull it down over the shaft of the penis. Being able to retract the foreskin is important because you should be cleaning your penis regularly. The other thing is that when you have an erection, the foreskin tightens. And when the foreskin can't come over the head of the penis, that might make erections painful. So if you have a hard time stretching that skin and you're having pain with erections or pain with peeing, you should talk to your doctor. Um, one more thing. This banana has a bend. Many penises also have a bend and that's okay. Things that would be concerning uh, and when you should talk to your doctor about a bend in the penis would be if erections hurt, if it hurts to pee, if it hurts your partner, sexual partner, if you notice a nodule where the penis bends, or if you notice a dent where the penis bends. Those are all reasons that you should see a doctor for the bend in your penis. Otherwise, it's probably okay and totally normal. This wraps up penis talk.